Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, help us to find your peace in this day and to share that peace with others. The world can seem very chaotic. Lord, the world is a struggle against sin, against doubts, against fears, against all that puts a barrier between us and you. But Lord, this is what our sin has done. This is how we have marred creation. And we rejoice that your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, has come, has has done what was necessary, even to die upon the cross, that the sin may have no, no real power compared to the power of your love. That we might not be caught up in the in the circle and circuit of sacrifice and sin, but that all will be satisfied and that we can put our trust in you, in him. O oh Lord, bind us in your Holy Spirit unto your word, unto your guidance, unto your will. That as we take this time for devotion, we will be inspired by the truth of your word, manifest in the way we provide care and charity to the world around us, to the people who need us. And we make the stand against sin that you you call on us to make, that we make this world a beautiful place, a wonderful creation, as you call on us as stewards in your creation to do. Lord, we pray for those who we will encounter, who will be keen on taking their part, who will be keen on taking what they want and be keen on taking the side of sin because that is how they have grown to define themselves. Oh Lord, let us all appreciate the limitations of, of, of our limited view. Help us to appreciate that not any one of us has the full understanding, but that together, the way that you call us together in your love, we can grow in our understanding and abide in your truth. Lord, show us how to be your blessing to the world today. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And looking to God, God's word, we look to 2 Chronicles chapter 15 at verse 7. Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And as much as this is a commission to those who rule and who are in charge it is a commission to all of us in the charges we are given that do it well do things well and with the with the utmost of your strength do things to the best of your ability do not be lazy about what your hands or your heart or your your mind is doing because you you stand in the midst of, of God's reward. You stand in the midst of God's blessings. And it is better to take a fullness part in that, even though it takes the effort, than to let it slip past weak fingers. So, in the best of your ability, in what God has given you to do, love and serve the Lord, care for one another, and, and be the, the fullness of who God has called you to be. Do not be afraid. God is with you. God bless you.